Welcome everyone, Adam the Wu here with the Christmas season fully engulfing, immersing itself into every nook and cranny around us. Hollywood, California, Los Angeles, hustle and bustle is no exception, which got me thinking, what's it like on the series of blocks known as the Boulevard? So I'm going to take a daytime hike, a walk down to Vine Street about a mile back and forth, and then at nightfall, starting again at the Chinese Theater, we're just gonna get a vibe of what the whole ambiance is between those two sections. Join me, shall you? Oh yeah, even King Kong's got a little bow around his neck. Might be tough to see it under the shrouds of these huge structures of the Highland Center, but there's a tree down there next to the fountain. It's just trying to get a good view of the Hollywood sign like everyone else. It's right up there. See it on the side of the mountain, straight ahead. There aren't too many places in this weather season around the country where water effects are happening in a courtyard. Gotta love it. I always like this bird's eye perspective up on the balcony deck. Get a good view of the El Capitan next to the Jimmy Kimmel Theater. And as you shift soon, you will see downtown Los Angeles off on the horizon. The intersecting street you're looking at is Highland, but if you continue on just a ways, it connects with Vine, which are two of the most popular intersections in Los Angeles, or dare I say, the whole U.S. This is a fun place, sweet, as it's spelling out across there, neon. Always cool to wander around in there. I mean, where else can you see full Wonka displays with an Oompa Loompa band serenading and floating around on gumball balloon bubbles or Mr. Stay Puff watching them make the chocolate. Even the Mistress of the Dark, check out this set of ornaments uses skulls. I sure do love this historic, iconic structure. Let's just stand here a moment and bask in its glory. Done basking? All right, let's move on. Oh yeah, you don't even have to tell me. I know exactly what you want Santa to bring you. You want that medal you got cheated out of at the end of Star Wars, right? Maybe this inflatable version can help him out with that. Maybe that's what's inside that present. Might be tough to see him, but there's another one climbing the wall, trying to get on the roof up there next to the surfboard. And here we have some reindeer just above the swordfish, which are upside down. They're kind of discombobulated up there next to the candy canes. Oh, 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 I love how the big guy paying no attention to the Grinch sitting next to him trying to steal his thunder. Pay no mind to that green fella. And if you listen closely, you can hear his candy cane, his large candy cane, tapping the glass, trying to get everyone's attention. That, it didn't work though. He didn't hear you, big guy. Just keep trying, just keep trying. Ah, oh, they're just avoiding him. I sure do love that next to Pee Wee's star is his doll properly adorned. Looking good, Mr. Rubens. Looking good. Oh no! I'm not sure if you know this or not, but he's making a list and checking it twice. He knows if you've been naughty or nice. Something has ripped this gentleman's head off and replaced from his neck up with a holiday, a holiday hat. Chalk etching on this board of Mr. Burns from The Simpsons towering over that foliage. Snowflakes have fallen from the ground up. Might be difficult to get the perspective of just how big that wreath is. Now I would attempt to jump up there basketball style and touch it by being watched. Trust me, I'm being, I'm being watched. Speaking of celebrating, I have a feeling this guy really knows how to party. Just a hunch. Maybe the coolest Kringle I've seen in a while wearing those sweet shades, you filthy animals. 
I recognize that phrase from somewhere. A complete wrap overlay of the Home Alone house. Check that out. The entire front facade of this building has been completely changed into a residential home. I like that. Not sure if Kevin's in there or not, but you can see how they constructed it by putting this wood stretching all the way up to the roof line and then very thin extra piece of wood that is painted and made to look just like the McAllister's. A couple paint cans in the window. Watch out, wet bandits. He's ready for you. In reality, you could climb up to the top of these branches to help gain access to the structure. But beware, there's probably some, a spider in there that's gonna be laid upon your face. By stepping around the corner proves I'm not in the suburbs of Chicago. This is what it looks like just a few feet away. Very, very clever, however. The snow on the hedges and up there on those leaves. Look up there. Even the tree house. Nice little Easter egg overlooking the Capitol Records building. Doesn't seem to be too many people that are wandering by even noticing that the overlay exists. I like it a lot though, pretty awesome. Someone has tripped the alarm. I knew they wouldn't get away with that robbery. They better run. How funny is there is an alarm going off? Inside Iguana Vintage Clothing, there is a sweater sale going on. And while these are pretty impressive, most impressive, I'm looking for a piece of headwear for an old friend. He needs to get in the mood. He needs to get in the tradition of December. I'm looking for headwear. These sweaters are awesome, but I'm looking for headwear. I'm not sure if it's his style or not, I think he'll like it. I hope he will. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Argyle, you look very fashionable. What do you think? Are you getting into the mood? I think it suits you. Yeah, I think it suits you just fine. You can't wear it normally on top of the head because you won't stand up straight, so you have to kind of just festoon it on your ear. I think it looks good. Yeah. I think it looks good. And with that, I'm gonna take a little bit of a hiatus for the next couple hours. As the moon starts to rise and the sun starts to descend, because that's when the illuminations come out in full force. We will do this trek again in a little bit different detail, show a few other things that I didn't show during the daylight hours at nightfall. So be patient, even though it's gonna fast forward very quickly. See you in a moment. Not only are the palms lit up with lights, but up towards the top, spotlights of different colors give the trees a little bit different perspective. Not a hundred percent sure what's happening here. The beard has fallen off. Say okay. The decor changes just a little the closer you get to Highland, however. See the lights protruding up these poles. Not quite the same. And there's some stars leaning inward towards the road. And the 
lot next to the Scientology building. Looks as if they have placed a rather elaborate display. Huge tree, a few other smaller ones, a backdrop of a mountain range with snow falling. Even Santa Claus is up there just chilling. Looks like pretty much all by his, all his lonesome. They're calling this the Winter Wonderland. All right, let's take a look at this guy. Buster on the roof. I call him that because he's busting out of the top floor of the Ripley's Auditorium. He's got a big candy cane, sharp fangs, but he has a jolly beard and cap, so I know the true side of Buster. He's genuinely a nice guy. Don't let him fool you. He will not terrorize your dreams or slide down your chimney in a horrific way. He'll put a smile on your face and a, and a happy movement in your step. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, big the foot or at least someone who looks pretty close in proximity. Fall goes well to reach the top of this escalator. Should be a different perspective from when I was here earlier. Oh yeah, just a little more colorful. Not only the obvious, what's in the front of the screen, but also the traffic behind the shot. I love LA. Oh, it keeps getting bright and then dark. Oh. The courtyard is changing colors as well. I see what they're doing now. They keep dimming and altering the formation of the colors. Other times of the year in the past, I've been by here and there's projections, they shine on the Chinese theater. Well, I asked one of the associates over there if they were gonna do something like that for the holidays. He said, no, the projectors no longer work, so. Wamp, 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 wamp. Just in general, everything in this area usually looks pretty illuminated. The old Max Factor building and Mel's Diner. Looking pretty spiffy this evening. Lots goings on down here, that's for sure. Lots goings ons. I don't know what language I just spoke in, but you understand what I'm trying to say. He's going down, climbing down the ladder. I think he just delivered some presents. Oh my goodness, that's not the way anyone should have to spend December. Very gory. That woman's neck is like bleeding and then there's a zombie biting into her arm and then that snowman on the left, it's like busted open and there's a human inside its head. Let me zoom in through the glass. See how cute this one is? Yeah, that's more, that's more what I'm thinking about for this month. Less zombies. That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe. By doing so, it helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future endeavors, adventures I will be going on, as well as uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further and ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video, the vlog Dun 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 is over.